The Middle East is a region seemingly locked in perpetual conflict. At the heart of many of these tensions lies the complex and volatile relationship between Israel and Iran. While not engaged in direct, open warfare, their decades-long rivalry has shaped the geopolitical landscape of the region. This Cold War often spills over into proxy conflicts, accusations and military brinkmanship. Adding fuel to the fire is the ongoing war between Israel and Hamas, the militant group that controls the Gaza Strip. This latest round of fighting, which erupted in October 2023, has further inflamed tensions between Israel and Iran, with accusations flying over Iranian support for Hamas. The situation is incredibly complex, with a long and tangled history. To understand this conflict, we must delve into its roots. The animosity between Israel and Iran isn't a recent phenomenon. It's deeply rooted in history. Before the 1979 Islamic Revolution, the two nations maintained relatively cordial relations. Iran, under the Shah, saw Israel as a strategic ally in the Middle East. However, the revolution dramatically shifted the dynamics. Ayatollah Khomeini, the leader of the revolution, vehemently opposed Israel's existence, viewing it as an illegitimate state. This ideological stance became a cornerstone of Iran's foreign policy. The subsequent creation of Hezbollah, a powerful Iran-backed militia in Lebanon, further escalated tensions, posing a direct threat to Israel's northern border. The volatile relationship stems from historical grievances, ideological differences and security concerns on both sides. How has the Islamic revolution in Iran impacted the relationship between the two countries? In recent years, the conflict between Israel and Iran has escalated beyond rhetoric, marked by a series of dangerous incidents. Israel has carried out numerous airstrikes targeting Iranian military assets and allied militias in Syria, aiming to curb Iran's growing influence in the region. Furthermore, the assassination of key figures, such as Iranian nuclear scientist Mohsen Fakhrizadeh, has further inflamed tensions. Iran, in turn, has responded with threats and actions of its own. The country's support for proxy groups like Hamas and Hezbollah, who directly engage in conflict with Israel, exemplifies this approach. Additionally, Iran has been accused of targeting Israeli-linked ships in the Persian Gulf, adding a maritime dimension to the conflict. These escalating actions underscore the high stakes and the potential for miscalculation on both sides. The Islamic Revolution transformed Iran from a relatively friendly state to a staunch adversary of Israel. What role do proxy groups play in the conflict between Israel and Iran? The conflict between Israel and Iran extends far beyond their borders, casting a long shadow over the entire Middle East. It fuels instability and exacerbates existing conflicts, drawing in regional and global powers the rivalry has intensified sectarian divisions, particularly between Sunni and Shia Muslims, further complicating the region's already fragile landscape. The ongoing war in Syria serves as a stark example of this broader impact, with both Israel and Iran heavily involved, albeit on opposing sides. Their actions and influence within Syria risk sparking a wider regional conflagration. Moreover, the conflict hinders efforts to resolve other pressing issues in the Middle East, such as the Palestinian-Israeli peace process and the fight against terrorism. Proxy groups act as extensions of both countries, waging battles on their behalf and escalating regional tensions. How does the Israel-Iran conflict affect the broader Middle East region and its stability? While geopolitical interests are undoubtedly at play, it's crucial to recognize the profound role that religion and ideology play in this conflict. For Iran's current theocratic regime, Israel represents an ideological threat. 
the Islamic Republic's founding principles are rooted in opposing Israel's existence, viewing it as an illegitimate entity occupying Muslim land. On the other hand, Israel's security concerns are deeply intertwined with its identity as a Jewish state in a region where it often feels existentially threatened. The memory of historical persecution and the desire for a secure homeland are powerful motivating factors in Israel's policies. This clash of ideologies makes finding common ground exceedingly difficult, adding layers of complexity to an already volatile situation. The Israel-Iran conflict destabilizes the region, exacerbates existing conflicts, and fuels sectarian tensions. How do religious and ideological factors contribute to the seemingly intractable nature of the conflict? Adding to the complexity of the Israel-Iran conflict is the extensive network of proxies and allies each country can call upon. This proxy warfare allows both sides to engage in conflict indirectly, reducing the risk of direct confrontation, but also increasing the potential for miscalculation and escalation. Iran provides substantial support to Hezbollah in Lebanon and Hamas in Gaza, both of which have fought numerous conflicts with Israel. These groups act as Iranian proxies advancing Tehran's interests in the region. Israel, on the other hand, has forged stronger ties with several Arab states in recent years, particularly in the Gulf, who share a common concern over Iran's growing regional influence. The deeply held religious and ideological beliefs on both sides create a fundamental barrier to reconciliation. How do the proxy wars waged by both sides contribute to the overall instability of the region? Perhaps the most concerning aspect of the Israel-Iran conflict is the potential for a nuclear arms race in the Middle East. Israel is widely believed to possess nuclear weapons, although it maintains a policy of nuclear ambiguity, neither confirming nor denying their existence. Iran, while maintaining its nuclear program is for peaceful purposes, has faced accusations of pursuing nuclear weapons capability. The possibility of either country acquiring nuclear weapons or Iran even coming close to developing them raises the stakes considerably. It could lead to a dangerous arms race in the region with unpredictable and potentially catastrophic consequences. The international community has been deeply involved in efforts to monitor and limit Iran's nuclear program, but a long-term solution remains elusive. Proxy wars create a volatile and unpredictable environment, increasing the risk of unintended escalation and wider conflict. How does the potential for nuclear proliferation exacerbate the dangers posed by the Israel-Iran conflict? Given the deep-seated animosity, historical baggage and complex geopolitical realities, the path to peace between Israel and Iran appears daunting, if not impossible. However, history has taught us that even the most intractable conflicts can find resolution through dialogue and diplomacy. While a grand bargain seems unlikely in the near future, small steps towards confidence-building measures and a reduction in tensions could pave the way for a more peaceful future. International pressure and engagement are crucial in facilitating such a process. Ultimately, a lasting solution requires addressing the legitimate security concerns of both sides, while finding ways to bridge the ideological divide that fuels the conflict. It is a monumental task, but one that the international community must strive towards. The potential for nuclear proliferation raises the stakes of the conflict to an unprecedented level, threatening catastrophic consequences for the entire region. What steps do you believe could be taken to de-escalate tensions and work towards a more peaceful future for Israel, Iran and the Middle East? The Israel-Iran conflict is one of the most pressing global challenges with far-reaching consequences. We've only scratched the surface of this complex issue. Now, we want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on the potential for peace in the Middle East? Share your perspectives and insights in the comments section below. Let's engage in a thoughtful and respectful discussion on this critical topic. You can also participate in our survey, linked to a survey. Your responses will help us understand public opinion on this crucial issue.